open our main card. Crescent Tools brings you the numbers for Tyler Samus versus Cody Sheevy in the featherweight division. Shot uppercut, hits high and tight. Sheevy took those two shots well. There's the right hand lands from Samus. Sheevy throwing back center circle. Oh, oh, oh. On both oh. these and that's ruled a knockdown by Nick Sherlock. This changed things right there. So both guys on that knee hurt now. Sporting touch of hands, a call of let's go from Cody Sheevy. Misses with the left hand, lands with that left hand. Big shot to the inside, counter right uppercut, and that drops Cody Sheevy. 2-1 knockdowns at 155 pounds. David Bosnick versus Drew Angel Corp. And you can see here, Sean, very similar everything. One length height, different reaches, and it's very little right there. This isn't going to be about that. Whoever can come out here, implement their game plan, probably going to have the advantage. Low with that lead left hand from the ortho stance again. That's, That's by on. design. He's trying to bait in Angel Court. Angel Court lands the right hand over that low lead left hand. And Bosnick still with his hands down right now. Off the jab right, on right, the right, entry right. comes through Angel Court. And there's Bosnick. He threw a nice uppercut in there as Angel Court tried to come in. He's really making Angel Court think twice every time he steps close. Fast jab again, counter left hand from Angel Court. Separation on the underhook. Active clinch, left to the body from Angel Court. Now the separation from Nick Sherlock. Step out, switch of stances. Angel Court landing the right in the transition. Resetting center circle. To the body, Angel Court to the body with the jab. Doing his best work in knockdown. You can see Angel Court is coming for. Look at the body. Look at how red the body is. It was just overwhelming. There was a good left hand. Just overwhelming. Bosnick right there was Angel Court. One would presume 10 8 across the board from the three Louisiana judges. Drew Angel Court round number four. Angel Court just turned into a savage right now. Every time Bosnick throws a punch, he's throwing two punches back at him. Angel Court keeps pushing that pace, trying to land more shots in his opponent. Oh. Right hand, duck under, step in again with the right hand from Angel Court. That is the end of the fight. And so Quality for both fighters. We could definitely have an, another draw right here. That means for this weight class, both guys six foot four. One inch reach difference, not that much. Very similar system. Everything very similar for these two guys. We get inside. Henry might be used to it, sparring and training with this clinch, but it's tiring in there. He's not used to that. Left hand just misses from Henry. Shavers on the restart. Tall stance. Shavers with his back against the ropes. Henry with the right hand. Shavers looking to counter left to the body. Big right to the body. Knockdown number one from those body shots of Bryce Henry. And when you get hit to the back. Throw, that's the separation from Bobby Wambacher. Let's go. Oh, let's go from Bryce Henry on the walk forward pressure. Now the jab from Henry. Henry double jab to the body. Here's the flurry. Big shots again from Bryce Henry. Right hook, counter left hand from Shavers throwing with his back against the ropes. Shavers on the left hook. Shavers after Bryce Henry had two strong rounds. Rounds two and three. Shavers coming in really looking to work the body. I love that. It's exactly what he needs to do right now. With this bout in the light heavyweight division, Crescent Tools brings you the tail of the tape for Tony Jenkins versus Dylan Weinmiller. Now stepping in, big left hand from Dylan Weinmiller. That turned Jenkins, now resetting in the center circle is Tony Jenkins. Jenkins off the jab. Weinmiller with the right hand, and definitely right hand from the half tie pull. That landed flush. And you can just you see circling from the outside, looking to come in, comes in with the left hook. And Juan Miller, what he really needs to do is, as he comes through the hands, down goes Tony Jenkins, back to his feet. Andrew Glenn does not rule out a knockdown. We fight on. No complaint from Juan Miller. I would have said his knee hit the ground. That's a knockdown. Right hand, the stumble from Jenkins, and now that's ruled a knockdown by Andrew Glenn. Go Check to the body from Jenkins. And that was after Tony Jenkins landed a hard shot himself. Good left hand lands from Jenkins, and again, Wine Miller walks through it. 50 seconds to go, round three. This is a very entertaining light heavyweight fight, and now taking the knee is Dylan Wine Miller. Andrew Glenn wins on this fight, and there is the come from behind. Almost 
identical reach. What is height difference? Not much difference. This is going to be who's able to go out there, implement game plan, land big shots. To a Stefan Reese. Reese on the outside. Double jab to the entry. Big right hand. Jab again from Labruza. Walking forward. Left hand. Half time block. Right uppercut landed big for Reese. That's what Reese is doing right there. He's dodging these punches, but he's coming up with pushes right away. Body shot, Dennis LaBruza. Big right hand. Hand goes down, not ruled, and knocked down by Andrew Glenn. More big shots. Driving pressure from LaBruza, and now that is a clean knockdown. Reese is still hurt. He has to jump up here pretty quick. We'll see now how hard Dennis LaBruza goes through the finish. 80 seconds remaining around number two. Reese cannot just decide to trade with him. He's getting yep. knocked down number two. Reese flat on his back, taking his mouthpiece out. Oh. See the body language referee Andrew Glenn stepping in a little closer, swing and a miss. Reese taking himself off balance. Right hand knocked down number three. We might be done. Mouthpiece out. Essentially has a one inch height disadvantage, however, a significant six inch reach advantage. He's gonna want to utilize that the whole time. Pop in against him. Round number one, no reckless start for Duke Sensley. A measured start. Oh, he's in the black and white trucks. Takes that left hand from Joseph Creer in the black trucks. Long straight jab from Creer. There's the left hand counter, the left hand, right hand from Sensley. Sensley, big right. Clear's got to throw back in that situation. They might stop the fight if you don't. Another left hand, more big shots. Tyler left hand from Clear. Sensley walking through it. This dead man right. Another left hand, right hand. Huge sequence for Sensley. Another left hand. Left to the body from Clear on the return. Overhook grab by Sensley. Is the end of a ferocious and frantic round number one. I mean, the story of that whole round right there was essentially just unloading on Curry. Hey, just face me. Block. He was face blocking me. the it's entire time, up. but you cannot it's sit there and take four or five, six punches in a row without firing back. You have to fire back in that situation. We are now up to scratch. the scratch line to start round number four for Joseph Career. Now the jab, jab right back. Career. And that left hand looked like it hurt him for a second, but since it's just being very tough right now. Right to the body, right to the head. Another right hand, left hand. Level change of Career. Need to have their moments. Final seconds, round number four. Right hand, there's the flurry again. Sensley has been at his best when he's flurried with Career's back. Sensley usually takes over right here the last few seconds of the round. Rear on the left hand. Sensley into the pocket. That is the end of an outstanding In the welterweight division, Brad Kelly versus Caleb Harris. And you can see here, Caleb Harris has a three and a half inch reach advantage. In round number one. Purple and green trucks for Brad Kelly. Black and white trucks for Caleb Harris. Rapid fire start off of scraps for both. This right now is the range that Caleb Harris wants on the outside. There's the left hand, another left hand. Big shots from Caleb Harris. Right hand again, Andrew Glenn nearly ruled the knockdown. Right hand, and now that is a clean knockdown off the right hand. For this bounce in the welterweight division, Bobby Taylor versus James Lilly. The main thing I have to get in and then stay in. Round number one of our co main Black and white trucks for the fighter from Mississippi, Bobby Taylor. Backwards, he doesn't feel like he's going to have that power. Short on the inside goes Taylor, then the right hand, left hand. Huge swings from Taylor now covering up. Looking for face, there's the right hand, left hand circling back out. With left hand on the inside, big swings from Taylor on those hooks. Jack from Lilly. Left hand, right hand. Tools brings you the numbers for this bout for the BKFC heavyweight title.
the champion Arnold Adams versus the undefeated Alan Belcher. And you can see here, Adams does have a three-inch reach advantage, but I think it's the 32 pound weight difference he can lean on his opponent he can push him around he can have a little bit more punching power i think that is the main difference in between these two fighters tonight the champion arnold aj adams Yuck up! the bell round number one black and purple trucks for adams green trucks for bell champions double jab to the inside comes adams comes off the jab and Sean, like we talked, we haven't even seen him use his style very often. Pushing the pace. Adams with a big right hand. Belcher with his back against the ropes. Heavy pressure from AJ Adams. Belcher looking for the right up for the half tie plus. Big shots on the inside. There's the separation from referee Andrew Black. 50 seconds remaining, round number one. Right hand, stiff jab again from Adams. Belcher to the inside, back to the outside. Big shots right hand, down goes Alan Belcher. Let's see how, how hard the champ goes for the knockout right now. Adams nearing the hip, stepping in. Belcher on his back foot. Leaves against the ropes, knocked down number two. That will break off his count because of the histrionics of Adams. No three knockdown rule under this bare knuckle fighting rule set. But you see Andrew Glenn position watching very closely. Now Belcher wins the knockdown on the turn against the flow of this fight. Round number three, gentlemen. Now come on. Round number three. Keep it Stop keep it and stretch the one, two. He's the re energized Alan Belcher. Belcher has it. A jab from Adams. Adams on the duck under. Uppercut, uppercut. Two knockdowns apiece. Six. Nine. Ten. That's it. This wow. fight is over. We have a new champion. Alan Belcher wins the big hand. Referee in charge, Andrew Glenn, reaches the count of ten. At 55 seconds into round number two for your winner by KO. Champion Allen the